Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today I'm 20 and 0 in the global tournament, undefeated, zero losses with Thrupper Nexus Cycle, my favorite deck in the entire game. And in today's video, I'll be going for 25 wins and top 1,000 in the entire world in the global tournament. So into our first match here against Good Pori. Just gonna start with my split archers, log the three barbs, and I'm actually playing really well right now. If I do say so myself, I have some great wins so far. Again, I'm 20 and 0, so zero losses. I've had to play against a wide variety of matchups. I went against Giant Graveyard with Little Prince, Bowler, Arrows, basically a 100 matchup, and I played that one very well. So I'm actually really happy with how I'm doing. I'm just going to continue the streak and try my best to get a good record in the top 1,000. So into our first match against Lava Hound right now. Um, going to go for my Archers, Stacked, and he most likely has Arrows. Most Lava players have Arrows right now. The meta for the Global Tournament is pretty interesting. Uh, drill is basically everywhere, Goblin Drill. That's why I think Lava Hound is also pretty popular, because it counters Drill. And then there's a bunch of other stuff, like quite a lot of Graveyard, too. Uh, I'm gonna Tesla, and I'm in a bit of a precarious spot at the moment, because my Duchess is zero uh, charge on her, so I think I have to Expo here. I don't think I can do anything except Expo. It's so awkward, but I maybe could have Fireballed, but my Duchess would still be zero charge, so I don't think it would have worked that well. Gonna Ice Spirit for this, um, and oh man, I think... I can let this go, probably. Okay, I have to go Archers. This is so bad. Um, I, yeah, my Skeleton Zone cut. I'm going to have to go Archers, unfortunately. I really don't want to waste my evil Archers like this, but I really have no choice. So Duchess, guys, is very exploitable when she's at zero daggers charged up. That's her biggest weakness. My opponent exploited it pretty well just now. Going to need to protect my Archers, force up the evil barbs, and I should be okay. I don't think I have to respond to them. I can go with like my cycle cards and shouldn't have to do anything else. So just going to Ice Spirit. I can go Skeletons if I need to. I don't, yeah, I don't think I need to, though. I'll have to Tesla for this loon, um, but the other Duchess should come in clutch and help out against the balloon, so pretty good pressure by him, uh, but we're going to be fine. This is a bit of a tough spot, though, because I'm down a bunch of damage, and we're going same lane. Uh, that being said, I'll still try my best right now. going to go Expo. I don't think he has barbs in cycle, so this should be a pretty potent Expo right now, and wow, he has Inferno Dragon. That is very annoying. I did not know he had that, so that's going to complicate things. If I knew that, I would have predicted it with the Skeletons, obviously, but he waited till now to play it, I believe, so... Uh, pretty tough. Gonna go for the Fireball. Gonna wait for him to go Balloon before going Tesla. I'll show you guys a little trick right now, especially against Lava Hound. Uh, you wait for the Balloon to go far enough to the point where the Tesla will target the Balloon first. And the reason for that is because the Lava Hound isn't really the bigger threat in the push. The Balloon is. And so what I did just now, I was actually able to just stay alive by taking up the Balloon first. Again, the bigger threat, uh, so to speak. Gonna Fireball everything. Skelly's to kite these minions over. And I think we should be okay. I mean, I'm still down a lot, but he doesn't have a big spell. I think he has, like, Arrow Zap or something, so I'll be okay. I'm going to Expo right now. He's probably going to go Barbs uh, to Tank. Guards is the same thing. I'll actually protect this right now. I'll go for my Evil Archers, too. And uh, this should be a pretty decent situation. He does have the Evil Zap, unfortunately, and that's going to be a lot of damage on my tower. Going to have to pull something, guys, out of thin air and make a crazy comeback right now. I'll try my best, though. Going to go Skellies. He goes Minions predicting an Expo. I'm just going to Tesla. Be a bit patient. Looks like he is being a bit aggressive. I'm not going to Expo. Uh, you get in this situation against Lava Hound players where, you know, the tower is very low on both sides. And they start trying to predict you. And so that's where patience really shines. If you just are patient in that moment. Going to Archer's really high up so that he can't get Arrows value on my Archer's plus tower. Pretty common trend here. And yeah, as you can see, he is a bit greedy. Goes for the tower damage but misses the Archer's. Big misplay because now I can go in again. He doesn't really have much for the archers. They're going to go kind of crazy. Going to knight to block, uh, protect the other archer. And I think we'll get a small lock here. He should not be back to his barbs. Yeah, he goes for the zap. I'll kite this out of range and get a small lock. Archers to predict the Inferno Dragon. I think we got him, guys. I think we just barely got him. That was so close. Like, unbelievably close. But yeah, I'll just fireball. Really good comeback against Lava Hound. Honestly, Duchess isn't the best against Lava. I'd much rather have a Princess Tower there. That's one of the few times she was not that helpful because I got punished so hard in single. Uh, but I'm still... Really Really glad I was able to clutch it up. As you can see, 21-0, and 0, so still undefeated. Alright guys, into our next match against Sour Apple. And yeah, speaking of Duchess, I am using her. Uh, she is by far the most broken tower troop in the game right now. I think Cannoneer is a close second, but she's just so busted. Like, there are so many situations where you just don't have to respond to anything the opponent plays. Because your Duchess just does a great job. Like Skeleton Dragons, for example. She counters them all for only one hit, I believe. Um... Just stuff like that, you know, Ewa's Musketeer, like, it's just ridiculous how broken she is, so... I don't think they're gonna nerf her, they don't really seem to be, uh, caring that much about these imminent 
changes that I feel are necessary, but I really do think she deserves a nerf. Anyways, I'm going to X1 on the left. He has an eye tower. Okay. So against Drill, as I said, Drill is very popular in the GT, so expecting to face it quite a bit. And honestly, depending on what they have, it's an okay matchup for X1. If they have like an Evo Knight, that's a terrible matchup. If they have a Mighty Miner, it's still a bad matchup, but it's doable. And if they don't have a tank, like this guy might not, then it's actually a decent matchup for us. So it does depend, but I would say I know the matchup very well. You know, I've been playing Expo for years, and Drill has come and gone in many metas, and I kind of know how to play it, especially right now. So I'll hopefully show you guys how to play against a Drill deck, because this is a very Drill-infested meta game right now. Um, goes for the log. I'm actually going to try and go in, I think. I'll split my arches first, but since he doesn't really have a log for my expo, I think I can definitely go in. Skelly's to predict the Inferno Tower right now. As we do get it, I'll go Ice Spirit Knight as well. He does get a good Ice Spirit of his own, but I'll retarget the Eye Tower onto my Knight real quick. And this should be a mini connection. He goes for the Evo Scalies too, but yeah, this just makes me think he doesn't have a tank in here. Because otherwise he definitely would have played it. Gonna log to protect my Expo. And unfortunately missed the Bomber. If I hit that, that would have been like at least 500 right there. Clean off the tower, but it's okay. Uh, I did not really know he was gonna do that, nor did I anticipate the placement, so it's all good. I definitely could go in again with my Evo Archers, though, and I think I will, because they're going to be very potent on offense right now. A big part of this matchup, guys, is offense. Drill is a very annoying deck, but you can't ever let them catch up to you. You just have to play very aggressive and uh, keep pressuring, basically. So the Archers do a great job at melting that eye tower. going to need to protect the Expo and predict a bomber. And Expo is on tower, but good bomber by him. That's why it's going to kill my Expo, uh, but not before my Knight kills his Bomber. I'm going to go in again, and he actually does predict me. Well played. Okay, I have to let that go. And he goes for the pre-log. That's actually good for me. That's a minus one for him. Uh, that said, I still have to respond to this Eye Tower, so I'll just do so with Archers plus Skellies. You know, I don't want to give him a free poison on my right side tower, so I'm just going to kind of take this Eye Tower out and stack my Archers in the left instead. I'll go in with the Archers now. And I'll Tesla to predict the Inferno Tower as well. He does not go for one, but this is still really good for me. Gonna Fireball the Eye Tower, get as much tower damage as I can. Any kind of value you can get with a Fireball on the tower is almost certainly worth taking. And he does waste an Evil Bomber. I mean, he could have honestly saved that and taken like 50 damage. I think that was not a good Bomber by him. So I'm actually really happy about that. Um, he is still kind of in the lead right now because it's just really tough to break through against his deck, but I'm still going to try. Going to protect the Expo once more. Log the Drill, as you can see. You can pretty much just respond with a Log, and oh, that's on Tower. That's a good game. Ice Spirit to predict his Ice Spirit. Perfect. Skelly's to block against a potential Bomber, maybe. And yeah, that's GG now. Honestly, again, it's all about the pressure because you guys will notice this guy does not have a mini tank. No Knight, no Valk, no Mighty Miner. And so that's really where you can shine and uh, basically just try and keep pressuring until they either mess up or, like, you just punish them really well, and that's where you get a lock. Gonna scale to predict an Inferno Tower. We get a lock in the right, which is really good. My goal is still damage in the left, like, winning off of that, but I'm gonna keep pressuring in the right, because I don't want to give him any fireball value, or poison value, rather, on my left side tower. I think I can go in now, though, because I have an Evo Tesla. Okay, good, I tower. I'll Tesla to kind of stun that and take it out. Misplaced my Tesla by one tile, so I have to expo tucked into the right. It's not a big deal, though. This should still be okay. Um, and yeah, he missed times the drill, so that's GG's. That was definitely a good game anyway, as you can see. I just pressured very well the whole game, defended the drills pretty well at the same time, and kind of just kept him on his toes the entire game. That's how you deal with that matchup, just constant, constant pressure. So now, 22-0. and 0. All right, guys, into a game against Buffalo Bill. Interesting name. He has, like, no uh, finishes on his profile, so should be an interesting one. I think there are a lot of, like, alt accounts in the GT as well, so I don't really know... Uh, what it's going to be. If I had Expo, I would Expo opposite lane right now, but I don't, so I'll just knight the back instead. I don't want to waste a Tesla in case it is another Lava Hound matchup, uh, so I'll just knight opposite. Knight same lane would be bad, because the eye drag would just melt the knight, and I obviously don't want that, so. Gonna Skelly's behind the knight, and Expo as well, just because why not, honestly. He goes for the E-Wiz, okay. Barb Barrel, I'll Ice Spirit to catch the Barb Barrel, and... I don't think this is Lava Hound. Yeah, he has a Knight as well. All Archers. And this should be pretty solid. Oh, we caught the Eye Drag. I'll Fireball that. That's a huge value Fireball. And that should be maybe a good game, honestly. He just wasted his Zap as well. Yeah, he calls it Oops. Now, I'm going to predict an Electro Wizard with my Skeletons. Maybe catch him with that. Uh, okay, we do not catch it, but we still get a lot of damage. Like, his tower is down to 2,000. And look at how broken Duchess is, guys. I can just log, and she kills the Ewas with no hits. Like, that's what I'm talking about. And she's already full charge again. That's why Duchess is so broken. Especially in single elixir. Like, you'll see everyone I've gone against is using this card. Like, she's just so busted. Everyone is playing her. So, uh... What I recommend to you guys if you're playing in the GT as well, use Dagger Duchess. There's no reason not to. No matter what deck you're playing. 
I'm just going to center Tesla. I want to play pretty passively and safe right now. Uh, no real need to be too aggressive. I already have a huge damage lead. Plus, I want to cycle back to my Evo Tesla if I can. So, he's leaking. I think that's a misplay on his end because I'm getting free value. Like, I got a free Tesla for nothing. So, I'm just going to expo with it now. Tucked in so my Tesla can support. Show you guys exactly what that means because I can knight for this Mega Knight. And the Tesla will, in fact, pop up and help out. So, that is great. Dodgers also melts that MK. That's insane. And that's already on the tower. He has to zap right now. Has to go for his Evo Zap. That's definitely not a good sign for him. Like, you do not want to waste your Evo Zap like that. And his tower's already down to 1243. So I'm going to keep the pressure up, actually. He's not really back to his Mega Knight yet. And uh, he's not really that good in Elixir either. So I'm going to go in. He was on melt that with the evil arches right now, and I think we got him. He doesn't have enough for the MK right away. Yup, great call. And that's going to be a good game. He doesn't have Zap back in cycle, nor does he have Ewis, so literally no way to reset this expo. Just going to go for my knight, and I can log to make sure this dies. And he gives up. Okay, yeah, that's GG. This looks like it's MK Ram Rider. If I had to guess, not like a free matchup, because he has Evo Knight, he has uh, Evo Zap to reset, he has Inferno Dragon, but definitely a decent matchup for me overall. I mean, he can't really kill archers that well without the Poison or the Evo Zap, and I can also just really get him in single if I play well, which I did, and kind of caught him, so... Thankfully, he gives me the three crown. That's very good for crowns. Crowns are pretty important in the global tourney, if you guys did not know, for tiebreakers and such. So I'll give him the good luck as well in the future uh, run of his GT, and I'm definitely going to take that. Again, 23 and 0. Just cannot lose today, apparently. Alright guys, into our next match against IMJC, and I'm not trying to say that, like, I'm some kind of goat or something, but I am playing out of my mind right now, like, 23 and 0 is just a crazy start, honestly. Now, I am really tempted to expo opposite, um, I actually will, honestly, I, I, I think it's a bit aggressive, but gonna go for it, gonna scale these as well, goes for the guards, okay, bomber guards, this could be another drill matchup, yep, it is gonna be another drill matchup, so I'll show you guys exactly how we deal with those. Um, Evil Bomb is going to be a pain, unfortunately going to get one bounce on my tower, but it's not too big of a deal, I guess. He's definitely down a lot of elixir, unfortunately I'm not really cycled back to my expo anytime soon, so I can't expo right away. Uh, but honestly, he, yeah, he's leaking, he's, or he's not leaking, he's just down elixir. I'm actually just going to go super aggro right now, guys, because he's definitely down elixir. Oh, wow, he, oh my god, if, if I, if I was like 0.5 seconds more patient with that expo, I would have gotten like a game-winning lock, but because I was too impatient, I made it so obvious what I was doing. You can see I literally telegraphed my entire, uh, sequence there. Like, he just knew an expo was coming. You went for a good prediction, Tesla. I have to give it to him, well played. Uh, but still... I, I guess, lesson learned, guys. Don't be so impatient. Like, I wanted to punish him because I knew he was down Elixir, but that's just a bit of an unnatural punish anyways, like, if you have to cycle that hard. So, gonna knight. I don't think he's back to his Evo Bomber. Um, very interesting to play the drill over there, by the way. Like, the other tower helps out. I don't know why he would do that. That just does not seem like a very wise decision, but, I mean, I can't really complain. It helped me out. Gonna go for the Archer split. And I'm honestly going to expo in the left. I can wait till I have 10 to expo plus Tesla, because that'll catch his Tesla. And uh, I think I can really get him, because my Evo Archer is helping out as well. Yup, waste a log, and Tesla comes down late. He's at, like, 5 Elixir right now. Doesn't get the guards down in time, because the Archer melted, and that's just good game. Like, he can't do anything. Even if he had something to do right now, by the way, even if he got those guards down in time, he would have been in a lot of trouble, because he had no log for my expo. And I would have really just gotten him. If this expo was defended well, he would have lost to the next expo, if you know what I mean. Like, he was in a very bad spot, so... I knew he was low on Elixir, I knew his cycle was messed up, and that was just a great uh, catch overall on his Tesla. And that's just, again, how you play this matchup. Drill, as I told you guys, is a very aggressive matchup. You do not just sit back and let them spam Evo Bomber's drills on your tower. You take the initiative, you pressure yourself, and that's how you win against Goblin Drill. So, another 3 crown, that's two people giving up in a row, excuse me, um, so that was really clutch, actually, I'm really happy with how this is going, I cannot ask for any more, that's 24-0 and 0 now, we are one off top 1,000 in the entire world, so let's get the final win. Alright guys, found a match against this guy, AIB, I'm not sure what that is, but uh, gonna give him the good luck, let's see what we can do right now, split my skellies. Ice Spirit at the back, he has an Evil Bomber, okay, I'm actually really tempted to Expo, but I'm gonna play safe, because now I want my badge, I want my top 1k, even though I have, like, 20 GT finishes on this account already, it doesn't even matter, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go for the Expo opposite now that he goes for the Valk, could be Drill, wait, Skelly Drags, what, okay, I'm gonna Fireball those, don't know what this deck is, honestly, I'm kinda confused, uh, and he goes for the Lightning, what, okay, Bomber, Valk, Lightning, I do not know what this deck is, I'll be honest with you guys, I really have no idea, so... Uh, I don't know, I'll have to see what we can do. Um, we have a slight damage lead, but not by much. Lightning is not a great sign. I guess Valk, Lightning, 
uh, bomber. This could be Royal Giant in some kind of universe, I suppose. I mean, I don't see what else it would be. Tombstone as well. Yeah, maybe like RG Tombstone. It wouldn't be Lava Hound with a light. I mean, it could be Lava Hound with a lightning, but that would be so unlikely, right? Inferno Dragon as well. I'm going to Expo because I've outcycled his lightning right now. And I want to see what else he has. Does he have a Royal Giant? Okay, Valklo. Um, I'm going to protect this Expo. I'm going to Knight. Yeah, it goes for the Evo Bomber. That's a free Knight if I've ever seen one. And that's going to be a lock right there. As my right tower just de decimates that eye drag. Wow, another Lightning. That is kind of unfortunate that he's already back. And like he's at zero Elixir right now, but I don't have Expo anywhere near in Cycle to punish him. That's the sad part. So this looks kind of annoying. Um... I might still try and go in, though. I'm going to do the same sequence. I'm going to Archer's Expo, because he is low on Elixir. Like, he goes for... Wait, did I see that right, guys? Poison Lightning? What the hell? Okay. Skelly Drags as well. I'll show you guys the other interaction I was talking about, where the tower just basically solos these Skeleton Dragons for, like, one hit. Yeah, exactly what I told you guys. Like, look at that. Absolutely wild. We do get a nice lock, but I don't know what this is. Like, Poison Lightning? What is this deck? Um, I don't know, man. I'm going to Knight the Back. And I guess it could just be Spell Cycle. Okay, what? He has a Lava Hound? Are you serious? Like, this guy was just holding Lava Hound the entire time. I'm going to Expo in the right, not before going Arches in the left to help set up on defense against this push. I'm really nervous right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, I don't know what to do right now. going to log the Bomber back. Um, maybe get a lock. My Archers are going to town on the Lava Hound, but at the same time, they're not really because they just get poisoned off. going to Fireball, though. Get a nice lock in the left. Now I'm back to my new Archers for this Lava Hound. Zero dagger uh, charge on my Duchess is unfortunate. He goes for a lightning? What the hell? I'm going to go Ice Spirit plus Knight. I think I'll survive. Oh, Evil Bomber. I have to Fireball. I have no other option. That's a double bounce. That's Oh my god, that's two double bounces. That card is so broken, man. When is that card getting nerfed? Um, I have to just Expo to pressure. Yeah, he goes Lava Hound. I'll Expo. I have my Scalies ready if he goes for the Inferno Dragon to tank for them. And I'll see what I can do. Valk. I'll go Archers in the left. Not only will they stack and help out against the Valk, but they will also help against the Lava Hound after the fact. Also going to protect this Expo against the Eidreg. That's a lock. No, it's not. I have to Tesla. This is so annoying, man. He's not really that high on Elixir, though, so this, sh this should basically defend, yeah, the left side. Um, I mean, I think I'm okay. I don't want a Fireball. Like, I ideally really don't want to waste my Fireball right now. I think this would be a good Lightning by him. I'm trying to bait him at the same time, though. Um, I'm going to go... Archers first, and then Expo. Uh, let's see what he does. He wastes the poison. He has to Lightning now. Um, I'm going to log the Tombstone. This should be a lock right now. This should definitely be a lock. Knight, Skellies to catch the Eye Drag. I think we got him with this lock. I'm going to Archers as well. He has to Lightning right now. Uh, so I'm going to go Archers to DPS as much as I can before he Lightnings. I'm going to pressure again instantly once that Eye Drag dies, guys. Uh, at 6, because he's not back to Lightning. And this is a really prime situation right now. Evo Valk, I'm going to show you guys a fun little trick. You kite this Valk out of Expo range and maybe get a lock if he's not expecting it. So I'm going to go for that trick right now. Cut out of range. Perfect, we got him. He wasn't ready for it. Oh my god, guys. We just beat like a 110 million oh matchup like Lava Hound with Lightning and Poison. Like, why are you playing those big spells, dude? I don't know what's up with that deck, but we were able to get an amazing win. That's going to be so clutch. That's going to be 25 and oh undefeated flawless start. That looks so exceptionally clean. Oh my god. I can't believe this is an awesome run. Like, I'm doing so well. That's going to be top 1,000 in the entire world as well. That is awesome. Like, just beautiful stuff, honestly. Really not trying to toot my own horn too much, but, like, I've kind of deserved it. I I've kind of earned it at this point. This is a beautiful start. I can't believe it. All right, guys. I'm going to stop the GT there, but I'm actually going to play one game of ladder just to make the video a bit longer because I'm currently undefeated on Path of Legends, as you can see from my battle log. Uh, these losses are from CRL when I played the other... Uh, weekend. I did not lose any games on ladder so far with 3.0. I'm literally 100% win rate, halfway up Royal Champion right now. So I'm going to go for one game just because I want to make the video a bit longer. Like, I never post videos that are like 18 minutes long. I'm just not that kind of YouTuber. So I know people do, but I just don't. So I wanted to, you know, make it a bit longer by having one more win uh, with 3.0. So I'm going to play one on ladder for you guys. Into our match against Monsters, he goes for an Evolved Knight, like not Evolved, but the Knight is. Uh, using the evolution and Inferno Dragon as well. Okay, this could be that same MK deck. Gonna Expo in the right as he goes for arrows on my archers. I'm actually, I just realized I don't even have the Duchess anymore because, yeah, I don't have her max on this account. I have her at like level 13. I don't really like spending money on the game that much, guys. Like, I don't buy all those ridiculous offers. I buy pass every month at most. Like, I actually didn't even buy pass so far. Like, my friend, she gifted me pass this season. So, I actually haven't bought anything this season yet. Um, I didn't buy Evo Zap, didn't buy Evo Wallbreakers, so... 
Okay, I, I just... Pekka, like... Okay, this is really stupid. Um, this is not a good matchup, guys. He has Pekka with Evo Knight and Arrows. So, pretty annoying, actually, not gonna lie. And Pekka itself is pretty busted. Like, they g give it that range buff. It's kind of ridiculous uh, in the, in its current state. Goes for the bats, too. Gonna fireball all of that. And I'm not really sure what to do right now, I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna go for the Knight. Um, I don't think I Ice Spirit yet. Okay, really good patience on my end. If I went Ice Spirit... I would have been in a lot of trouble against this ram. So I'm going to go for the Ice Spirit now. Then I have to Skellies to kite this all over to the other lane. I'm barely going to survive. That was like fighting for my life, man. That was a really ridiculous push. But I'm glad I was able to survive. I guess it was a bit too aggressive of an expo. Um, kind of got punished for it. But at the same time, I did not expect it to be Pekka with Inferno Dragon and Evo Knight. Like, this is really dumb, honestly. Um, I do have my Evo Archers in cycle. I can maybe, like, split them. And, uh go in opposite lane like i'll split them and then if he overcommits to one like say he fireballs it or something whatever he has i could expo on the right i think i might expo on the right regardless yeah it goes for the pekka so i'm gonna expo he has evo knight in cycle now because i know yeah i've been counting his evo cycle he does go for the misplay of playing it right on top of my expo just gonna knight to block that's gonna be a lock right there beautiful tesla down late that's really bad I'm gonna say thanks because honestly i'm kind of tilted like I know I don't even have much of a reason to be tilted yet, but just this matchup on paper is making me upset. Like, this is such an annoying deck. He goes for the Evo Ram. That's going to kind of destroy me, honestly. I have to deal with that, because Evo Ram is kind of broken. Um, if it keeps bouncing and stuff, it's going to get, like, infinite value. So, yeah, we take that out pretty well. Going to expo in the right now that I have my Evo Tesla still alive, and he's not back to P.E.K.K.A. He is back now, unfortunately, but it's okay. I'm going to let it go. Just Tesla for everything, and uh, we should be pretty chill right now. I drag. I could fireball, but I don't think it's worth it, because the Tesla's still distracted on the P.E.K.K.A. I'll just let it go. Late log, night for the ramp. Make sure you don't take any charges. You still don't want to overcommit too much, uh, but at the same time, you don't really want to overdefend. You know what I mean? Uh, so, I don't know why he's, like, BMing. I'm going to Expo again. I have Evil Archers to melt his P.E.K.K.A. this time, so not really too worried about it. Uh, Expo's going to retarget onto his knight. Yeah, good thing got that P.E.K.K.A. down, because that knight was walking out of range. Going to knight and Skelly's to protect my Evil Archers. And this should be a uh, melted P.E.K.K.A. Never mind, he has a delivery for whatever reason. That's kind of random. Um, so he has arrows delivery. That is like the weirdest spell combination, I can't lie. Gonna go for my low archers. Beautiful ice spirit. Skellies as well to protect my Tesla a little bit. And I have to knight as well for that Evo knight of his, but not really concerning. Gonna get my Evo Tesla down. It's gonna get that beautiful pulse and reset the ram. And we are big chilling, guys. Like, this is just a really nice win. I just pressured at the right time, you know, punished his bad peck at the back, and supported my expo well. His biggest misplay was going for that knight. He should have he should have gone knight, like, super low. If he went knight opposite lane, I would have tried to get him with that trick of knight to kite out of range like I did against that uh, lava guy with the Valk. But if he went, like, knight super low, I wouldn't have been able to kill it that early. would have been able to recoup elixir. Uh, I don't know why he's yawning. Like, the dude's playing a very annoying deck, honestly. Like, I am not very fond of this deck at all. It's very annoying, so I might just say thanks at the end of this game when I win. Uh, but yeah, two fireballs off right now. I might just go for the double spell cycle, honestly. Yeah, I'm thinking of just doing it. Like, I could defend this just to show you guys an exercise in defense, but I'm just going to take the double fireballs, honestly. That ram is going to be a huge pain. Like, look at that. It's ridiculous. I'm just going to fireball. Goodbye, and I don't want to deal with you anymore. That is ridiculous. But yeah, beautiful win. Going to say thanks because he was kind of BMing throughout the game, and also, like, I really don't like his deck. That's a beautiful win with Expo against Pekka. Bridge Bam with an Evo Knight and arrows in there. We're also going to get our Lucky Drop. It's 50 wild cards. Not too bad, I guess. Um, I also had this great win against Royal Giant, guys. Like, I I could just show you that win, I suppose, against RG. I'm halfway up Royal Champion. I'll show it to you guys. You know what? I just want to make the video, like, 25 minutes at least. I'll show it to you guys on double speed. But I'll show you guys how I beat this magic, because I guess this could be considered, like, a very hard counter. Or almost impossible. Like, RG with Lightning Arrows Evo Valk. Um, I'm sure people, like, who face this in mid-ladder uh, would, like, talk to me on Discord or leave a comment in my YouTube uh, comments being like, dude, I placed, I faced against this deck and I had no idea what to do, so I'll show you guys exactly what to do right now. Beautiful Skellies protecting the Eye Dragon, also going to the right lane to subsequently help out against the RG. At this point, I'm just kind of feeling him out. I don't fireball the Fishman, by the way. I was considering it, but I realized I want to go opposite lane to him, not same lane, so I'm not going to take any of those fireballs. just going to take a nice log and uh, no more. I want my damage in the right lane, not the left. Now I just go for the center Tesla once more. At, at this point, I don't know if he has a lightning in the deck, so that's still a bit annoying to like realize and learn late in the match, but it's okay. I just get my Tesla going. He goes for the RG and Prediction Cannon. Like, I can't even lie, I was mad, but I have to give him props. That was a good play. Like, he read my mind there, so... Anyway, I get my archers down. Defend this RG without a Tesla, because I don't want to waste my Evo Tesla. Might as well hold on to it, right? So, I do exactly that. 
Ice Spirit to Pressure, Knight the Back, and I get my Evo Tesla down now. It's pretty solid, I guess. I'm just, like, playing very passive. At this point, I still don't know he has a Lightning. And now he goes for the Lightning, so I realize. So I go for the Expo to, you know, try and get him. Get him with the Trick as well, Valk out of range, but he does go for the RG in time. So at this point, I'm, like, thinking, okay, how do I create the most counterplay against his deck? Number one, I have to start spell cycling early, because I need to get tower damage. Number two, I have to pre-Tesla a lot, because he has a Lightning, so I can't just, like, Tesla late, let it get Lightninged off. Number three, I have to go for my archers stacked up in the other lane. Again, I'm taking any opportunity to spell cycle. I miss the eye drag, but it's okay. Like, I still just take the fireball. Terrible arrows by him, not gonna lie. Like, that doesn't deal with archers at all. Um, good prediction cannon, I suppose, but I'm still chilling. And here I go for a nice play. Stack archers in the right, because he can't really go arrows on them. Another nice play, Knight Skelly's Ice Spirit for early DPS of that RG. And then an anti-lightning Tesla. At this point, I'm holding a comfortable 700 damage lead. And I'm still pressuring at the same time. Uh, I get my defense on this Valk down. He was not ready for it at all. He just, like, kind of panics. And I melt that Valk, cut it into my Evo Tesla. And that's going to be GG. Even if that wasn't over, guys, you can see the way I was playing it. I controlled the game the entire time, even though it was a pretty bad matchup. So hopefully that helps you guys out with a tough mid-ladder type matchup like that. And yeah, that's about it for the video. Just got some extra games to prolong the video but yeah i still have a beautiful 25 and 0 record look at that spotless record amongst the sea of losses that is so clean but that's about it for the video guys beautiful gameplay today very proud of myself hope you guys are proud of me too thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed take care and i will see you in the next one